welcome to the second session of the chapter whole numbers in the previous session we learned number line closure property commutative and associative properties i also showed you a number magic trick what was the trick i'll show you quickly from the grid of numbers each time we choose a number from the unstrike boxes then we strike down its row and column this should be repeated until no number is left then you all witnessed that no matter which numbers we chose we always got the same sum i had asked you to figure out how this trick is possible hope you tried to find out the reason behind this anyway i'll take you through the trick and you will be able to see why this trick works here is the grid of numbers now observe the grid can we say something about this arrangement can we say something about the numbers in the grid look for some patterns this is a square table it has four rows and four columns and the numbers are increasing by 1 from left to right also the numbers are increasing by 10 from top to bottom here you can see the table in the left is the same as the table in the right just that the numbers are split in a particular fashion observe in each row and column there is something common for example in the second row all boxes have 20 and in the third column all the boxes have 2 so when the number 22 is chosen it means 20 plus 2 is chosen and striking out its row and column means we are removing all other 20s and all other 2s from the table this happens when we choose other boxes also once no more numbers can be chosen it means that we have chosen 10 20 30 and 40 one from each row and 0 1 2 and 3 one from each column so no matter which numbers you pick the sum will always be the same here are two examples in the first one the numbers chosen are 10 21 32 and 43 and their sum is 106 in the second one we have chosen 20 41 33 and 12 and their sum is also 106 you can see in each example in the tens place we have 1 2 3 and 4 and in the units place we have 0 1 2 and 3 so which property does this magic trick use it is an application of commutative property and associative property of addition now we will learn one more interesting property of whole numbers how many boxes are there should we count one by one not necessary isn't it we can use multiplication to get it quickly we can see that there are 6 rows and 12 columns so there are 6 into 12 that is 72 boxes totally now what if i split this big rectangle into two smaller parts like this how many boxes are there in each rectangle so the first one will have 6 into 8 that is 48 boxes and then the second one will have 6 into 4 that is 24 boxes together together we have 72 boxes so what did we do here we split the 12 columns into 8 and 4 columns each and then distributed them over the 6 rows we can split however we want 
For example, we can also split 12 as 9 and 3 or 5 and 7. Similarly, we can also split the rows instead. We call this the distributive property. As we saw earlier, 12 is split as 8 and 4. You can see here that 6 is distributed over both 8 and 4 as 6 times 8 and 6 times 4. Now 12 is split as 6 and 6. Can you try splitting 12 as 5 and 7? See what total you get. It will be 72. So instead of 12, can we split 6? Yes, definitely. We will look at that. First, we split 6 as 2 and 4, which will be 2 times 12 plus 4 times 12. Next, we can split 6 as 1 and 5 also, which will be 1 into 12 plus 5 into 12. Here, we have split the same 72 boxes as 4 smaller rectangles. The 12 columns are split as 7 and 5 and the 6 rows are split as 4 and 2. You can add up all these boxes in the smaller rectangles again to get 72 as the total number of boxes. If you have observed, the multiplication method that you have learnt in your previous classes also uses distributive property. How you ask? Let's find out. Here we have the product 325 into 146. In the usual multiplication method you follow, you first multiply 6 with 325 from right to left. Then you multiply 40 with 325. And finally you multiply 100 with 325. At the end, you add all these partial products to get the final product. You can see that we are splitting 146 as 100 plus 40 plus 6 and 325 is distributed over this. Are you able to see now how the distributive property is in play in the multiplication method that you learned? You might have done a lot of calculations using addition, subtraction, multiplication and division for all these years. You might have come up with your own shortcuts to do these calculations mentally. Now we will attempt to do these calculations without using a pen and paper and discover some more shortcuts using the properties that you have learnt so far. Say we want to calculate 158 plus 9. How do you do it? So we write 158 and 9, then we add it. What is 9 plus 8? It is 17. 5 plus 1 is 6 and the 1. So we get 167. Now my question to you is, is there a faster method that we can use here? Let's look at this. So instead of writing 9 as it is, I will write 9 as 10 minus 1, isn't it? Because adding 10 to a number is very fast. So what is 158 plus 10? It is 168 and 1 less than is means it is 167. So you can see that we are able to get the answer very quickly. Now can you try? 447 plus 99. So in the usual method what you do? You write 447 and you write 99 and then you add. Right? What is 9 plus 7? It is 16. 9 plus 4 is 13 plus 1, 14 and then 546. So that is the answer. So as we did with 9, can we also find a quicker way to add 99. Yes, as you guessed, we can add 100 and subtract 1, right? We will see. 
फोर फोर्टी सेवन प्लस हंड्रेड माइनस वन वॉट इज फोर फोर्टी सेवन प्लस हंड्रेड इट इज फाइव फोर्टी सेवन एंड वन लेस देन दैट मीन्स इज फाइव फोर्टी सिक्स सो आर यू एबल टू सी हाउ फास्ट वी आर एबल टू गेट द आंसर्स सो कैन यू ट्राई दिस कैन वी कम अप विथ अ शॉर्टकट मेथड फॉर दिस Yes, what we can do is we can add hundred and then subtract five, isn't it? So six seventy four plus hundred minus five. So we are writing ninety five as hundred minus five. What is six seventy four plus hundred? It is seven seventy four, and seven seventy four minus five gives seven sixty nine. Can you see how quickly we are able to do it? you can also do these things mentally you don't even have to use a paper and pen now we looked at shortcut methods to add 9 and 99 in the same way you can try for numbers such as 999 or 990 or any numbers which are closer to tens hundreds thousands and so on isn't it now we will try for subtraction okay say we wanted to do 75 minus 9 what can we do as we did before we can subtract 10 and then add 1 to compensate isn't it so 75 minus 10 plus 1 so What is seventy five minus ten? It is sixty five, and sixty five plus one is sixty six. So what we will do now is I will show you some questions, and you have to solve them without using a paper and pen. That is, you have to calculate them in your mind. The first one you can try fifteen and thirteen. So what answer did you get? it is 28 right as we are doing mentally each of us might have followed a different method we will look at each of the methods right so what you might have done is you might have added 15 to 10 to get 25 and then to this you might have added the 3 right to get 28 and one more method that you could have followed is you could have split the 15 and 13 as 10 plus 5 and 10 plus 3 and you might have added the tens first to get 20 and the 5 and 3 to get 8 which is nothing but 28 what you could have also done is you might have added 15 and 15 to get 30 and then subtract 2 from it to get 28 or you might have added the 15 and 3 first to get 18 and then add the remaining 10 again to get 28 so are there any more methods possible yes definitely you might have used your own method or you might have used one of the methods that i have shown here so what are we doing here so we are just splitting the numbers so that it becomes convenient for us and we are also doing some reordering and regrouping you can also see that we have used some of the properties that you have learned before now try doing this mentally what answer did you get it is 60 right again now i will show some of the methods of you might have used for solving so what you would have done is you could have added 38 plus 
20 first to get 58 and then you add the remaining 2 to it to get 60. One more possibility is you know that in the units place when we add 8 and 2 we get 10. So, what you might have done is you might have added 38 and 2 first to get 40 and then add the remaining 20 to get 60. One more possible way is you might have split the 38 as 30 plus 8 and then 22 as 20 plus 2 and you could have regrouped the 30s and 20s and the remaining units place as 8 and 2. So, what is 30 plus 20? It is 50 and the 8 plus 2 gives 10 which is again 60. So, there could be many more methods of how we split the numbers, regroup them and reorder them. You might have used one of the following that I have shown on the screen or you might have used your own method. Now, try this 67 minus 34. Calculate mentally without using a pen and paper. So, what did you get? It is 33, isn't it? Again, we will look at the different methods that you might have used to solve this question. So, first what you might have done is, you might subtract the 30 from 67 to get 37 and then subtract the remaining 4 to get 33 to get 33. Or you might have subtracted the 4 first to give 63 and then the remaining 30 to give 33. What you might have also done is you might have subtracted 40 to get 27 and then add 6 to get 33. I have one more question for you. Say if we wanted to solve this in a quicker way, how can we do that? Yes, as many of you might have observed, we can group these two and we can group these two together and then finally add these two. So, first we will add 972 and 1028. You might have observed 72 and 28 together give 100, right? And what is left over? 900 and 1000. So, together they give 2000. So, the red part gives 2000. And the violet part, you can see 54 and 46 together give 100. And the remaining 400 and 600 gives 1000. So, the total is 1100. So, the violet part gives 1100. And together they give 3100. See how quickly we were able to do this? Say if we follow the method of addition that you have learnt in school, let us see how much time it takes. 2 plus 4 is 6, 6 plus 8 gives 14, 14 plus 6 gives 20. So write 0 here, and 2 carried. 7 plus 2 is 9, 9 plus 5 is 14, 14 plus 2 is 16, 16 plus 4 is 20. So 2 carry, 9 plus 2 is 11, 11 plus 4 is 15, 15 plus 6 is 21. And then 2 plus 1 gives 3. So, you can see when we are trying to group numbers together and using the patterns that we know, we are able to get our answer much more faster, isn't it? So, here is one more question for you. Can you try this? 24 times 5. Try doing this mentally using your own method. Now we will see some of the methods that you might have used. First one is, you might have split the 24 as 12 plus 12.
as you already know what is 12 times 5 this will be 60 plus 60 which is 120 or you might have split the 24 as 12 into 2 and then the remaining 5 as we know 2 times 5 is 10 we will try to solve that first which is 12 times 10 which is again 120 and how else can we split 24 we can also split 24 as 6 times 4 and here you may do the 4 times 5 first which is 20 and then you multiply 6 with it you can also multiply 6 and 5 first which gives 30 and then multiply 4 with it here you have split 24 as 12 plus 12 you might have also split it as 20 plus 4 then this will become 20 times 5 plus 4 times 5 20 times 5 is 100 plus 4 times 5 is 20 you can also split 24 as 25 minus 1 and this will be 25 times 5 minus 1 times 5 which is 25 times 5 is 125 minus 5 gives 120 you can see this is nothing but the distributive property of multiplication over subtraction whereas A and E are distributive property of multiplication over addition and this B is nothing but we are using associative properties Now we shall do a rapid fire. Do you know what is a rapid fire? Let me tell you. I will show you a set of questions and you have to answer them as quickly as possible. So there will also be a timer running for each question for 10 seconds in the side of the screen. Get ready. We will start in How was the rapid fire? Did you enjoy? How many were you able to solve within the time limit? The more you practice doing mental arithmetic, the faster you will become and will also discover some more tricks like this. We have something special now. Say I have a whole number and I want you to add another whole number to mine, but the sum should not change. Is it possible? Let's find out. That is, if I have 7, I want you to give me a whole number such that when I add these two, 
I will get the sum as 7 itself. Is it possible? You may say that when we add two numbers, we always get a bigger number. But children, what about 0? If we add 0, will the sum increase? It will remain the same, isn't it? So, you will be able to see that if we add 0, the sum will not change. Hence, we call 0 as the additive identity. Identity or identical means same or similar. Now we will try with multiplication. Which number should I multiply so that the product does not change? This is straightforward, right? When we multiply 1, the product will remain same. So, we call 1 as the multiplicative identity. We are about to end the chapter. So, let us quickly recall what we have learned so far. You learned about 0 and whole numbers. Then we looked at different arithmetic operations using the number line. For whole numbers, we saw that addition and multiplication are closed and subtraction and division are not closed. Then we saw commutative and associative properties where interchanging and different grouping of whole numbers still gave the same end result. We looked at some illustrations and examples and found that commutative and associative properties hold for addition and multiplication and do not hold for subtraction and division. Then we also saw the row column number magic trick which made use of the commutative and associative properties of addition. Then we learnt the distributive property of multiplication over addition and its use in the multiplication process that you have learnt in school. And also we learnt some methods and tricks using some properties to make the calculations faster. And in the end, we saw the identity of addition and multiplication. With this, we have finished the chapter whole numbers. Hope you enjoyed the learning process. We will meet in the next class. Bye.